Hello everyone. Today's lesson is chapter 6 review, um, 6.13, pages 159 and 160. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. We are going to review everything that we have learned in chapter 6. Our worksheet today will look so much like our test tomorrow. So today I'm going to go through it with you and tomorrow you need to do it on your own and then take a picture and send it to me of both sides. So what you need right now is your paper and a pencil. For the first set of activities, numbers one through four, we're going to circle the objects that match the shape. They give us a shape. Some of these shapes are 3D, like the cylinder and the collar, and some of them are 2D, like the square and the circle. Remember, the difference between a 3D shape and a 2D shape is that the 3D shapes have height, depth, and width. There's dimension to these shapes. The flat shapes or the 2D shapes are something that you can literally step on. Okay, so let's begin. Number one, cylinder. Which shapes are cylinders? Well, the can is a cylinder. And strawberry is not much of a cylinder, but the trash can is also a cylinder shape. Even with its lid open, it's still a cylinder. Next, we're looking for shapes that resemble a cone. Does the megaphone reg resemble a cone? Yes, it does. How about a straw? Nope, a straw is a cylinder. I'm not going to circle that. Well, the bottom portion of the top is also a cylinder. So I'm circling the megaphone and the top. Now I'm going to some flat shapes. I have a square here. Which of these objects is a square? Well, the napkin is the only thing that is a square. That's the one I'm going to draw my circle around. Next, I need to find circles. Is this piece of pie a circle? No. Is the cracker a circle? Yes. And is the pie itself a circle? Yes. These objects are both circles. Okay? Easy peasy, nothing to it. All right, let's flip our page over to the on the back. They want us to draw the other half of the cat. Boy, they sure thought that we were super great artists, right? So just do your best. Um, obviously, I'm no artist either. So my cat always ends up looking just a little wonky sauce. And that's okay. You do the best you can. And don't worry about the rest, okay? Hopefully yours looks a little bit better than mine. And if it doesn't, that's okay. You did the best, okay? So we're drawing symmetry. The other half of the cat, we got to get his nose and his mouth. Um, as you can see, mine looks really a lot like this side. I did a great job, right? Well, not so much, but it was my best job that I could do, okay? So here, on this activity, we're just going to look at the shapes here and color them to match the pattern blocks that they've given you. So even though you don't have pattern blocks, you can still do this. Again, I don't have an orange. Um, I have to modify. So all these shapes here... The squares are orange, so I'm going to color them with my semi-orange crown because all of these are square and they match the, the square pattern block, okay? So there's my coloring of that. And then I have a few more shapes up here. So I have the blue diamond shape, so I need to pull out a blue, and I'm going to color this shape up at the top with my blue crayon oh so neatly and then i'm left with the triangle shape in the middle which is green so i need to color the triangle shape green okay so even though you don't have pattern blocks at home home you can see which pattern blocks it would take to fill in these shapes so go ahead and do that now down here, they're having us do this flip, slide, and turn, okay? So the turn, they want me to color blue. Remember when I turn an object, it goes on its side or it goes the other way. It's just one movement in one direction. So if I look at this, is this a turn? No, this one's not a turn, it's a slide. The object is the same shape. It hasn't been flipped over. It's just been moved over. This one here was in this position, and they turned it down that way. So that is my turn 
for this object. So I need to color the turn blue. This is my turn, and I'm going to color this shape here blue. All right, next I'm going to be looking for the flip, and the flip is the one they want me to choose green for, so I'm going back to that green. And I've got to find the flip. Well, remember, if I have an object and I flip it over, it's going to be the opposite of what it is. So this is my flip, okay? The circle, the half circle has been flipped over, and so now it looks like the half circle is going the other direction because I flipped it over, okay? And finally, I need to do the slide in a red, okay? So when I slide an object, I'm just moving it over, okay? or I'm moving it up or over another way. In this case, they've just moved this object over. So I know it's exactly the same. Nothing's changed. This is my slide, okay? So you're going to be coloring this one red. And that's all you need to do. This is practice for tomorrow's test, okay? Make sure you've done this. If you have any questions, be sure to ask, because tomorrow you're going to be taking a chapter six test all on your own.